All right, today we're going to talk about whether or not you actually need a lawyer if you get caught up in an OIG investigation. Now, since I'm a lawyer who helps people through OIG investigations, I suppose I'm biased. But the answer is absolutely yes. Today we're going to talk about the risks you take if you don't have a lawyer and the way a lawyer can help you through the process. Welcome to OMG, it's the OIG, a serious look at Office of Inspector General Investigations. My name is Sarah Croft. I'm a lawyer here in Washington, D.C., and we help individuals and companies who are government contractors survive OIG investigations. If this video is helpful and you want to get in touch, all of my contact information is below. All right, let's jump in. So one of the most common questions I get from potential clients is whether or not they should hire a lawyer at all, because it can be expensive and they're worried about the expense and they are worried that they're going to look guilty if they hire a lawyer. So I'm going to tell you what I tell my potential clients about this issue. One of the first benefits to having a lawyer through an OIG investigation is that the OIG agent can no longer contact you directly. One thing people don't like is surprises. And once you have a lawyer and we let the OIG know that you're represented, the OIG agent cannot contact you directly. They can't send you an email. They can't stop by your office. They can't call you. They have to go through the lawyer at that point. And that makes a lot of our clients feel better because what they don't like is the uncertainty of someone stopping by or calling them out of the blue and asking them questions. The next benefit to having a lawyer is that it's someone to explain everything to you. This is often a frightening and nerve wracking and new experience for our clients. Pretty much all of our clients have never been through this process before. And so part of our job as your lawyer is to explain the process to you, to make sure you understand each step, to understand to help you understand what's going to happen next. And that's part of something that we do for our clients. The next benefit is that we help you through the interview process. We help you from everything of setting up the interview and getting the logistics taken care of to contacting the agent and finding out about the scope of the interview. We can find out from the agent what are they going to ask you about. Now, they're not going to give us the exact questions, but they will generally give us the topics that they want to ask you about. And that leads into the other way that we can help our clients, which is we help our clients prepare for the interview. Once we know that what the OIG is looking at, and once I've seen important documents from my clients, I can help them analyze the risk of being interviewed and help them decide whether or not they want to be interviewed in the first place. Now, this is an important process because sitting for an OIG interview creates some risks for you. So having a lawyer talk you through the risks, help you analyze whether or not you're really in any jeopardy whatsoever, help you analyze whether or not this could be a criminal matter or whether it's simply an administrative matter. All of those are things that we help our clients do through the process. The last thing we do to help our clients is help advocate for you. So we're the person standing by your side throughout the whole process, and we can help push your side of the story with the OIG agent. Sometimes that's by our conversations with the OIG agent. Sometimes it's by sending the OIG agent uh, important documents and highlighting the parts that they should be focused on. Sometimes we do it very formally by writing a letter to the OIG explaining what happened, explaining our analysis of the law, and how they'd get it wrong if they found that you did something wrong along the way. So there's lots of ways that your lawyer can advocate for you. It's not just a passive process where we're sitting next to you during an interview. A good lawyer is going to advocate for you and push for your side of the story. One of the questions we do get from new clients, understandably, is how much is this going to cost me? because fees are always an issue, particularly for our clients who are government employees. So we will talk to you at the beginning about how much it's going to cost. And frankly, we've had OIG investigations that cost less than a few thousand dollars uh, because it only takes a few hours of our time to talk with you, to coordinate with the agent, and to help you prepare for and sit for your interview. Others are much more expensive because the issues are complex. There may be potential criminal liability, and there's just a lot more going on that needs more of our time. But at the beginning of the case, we can give you an idea of how much it's going to cost so you can plan ahead. I hope this information about whether or not you need a lawyer in an OIG investigation was helpful. Uh, I know I'm biased, but we help a lot of people get through this process. And I think some of the help we offer is more than the legal side. It's explaining to you. It's kind of holding your hand through the process and being next to you as you go through what's a really stressful and uh, can be frightening process. So if this was helpful to you and you'd like to get in touch, again, our information is below in the notes. There's also a link to our blog that has a bunch of posts about OIG investigations and a link to our 80-page ebook, which describes the whole process from start to finish. Thanks very much for watching.